Well, as summer kind of comes to a close and the weather brings the vents more so inside, there is still plenty to see and do around Des Moines. And for many, catching a show at the Des Moines Performing Arts is on the top of that list. Here to tell us more about their fall lineup is Director of Communications for DMPA, Jonathan Brenda Mule. Thanks so much for being with us. Hey, thanks for having me back. So we have got to jump right into this because this is a jam packed lineup. We have it all here, all of the <laughs> dates as well. So I wanted us to kind of run through all of this. So if people haven't heard about these individuals that are coming, they get to learn more. That's right. So let's kick off with our Prairie Meadows yes. Live at the Temple concert series. Um, season tickets available right now for this. Our first performance in that five part series is a group, an Irish group called Socks in the Frying Pan. I like that name. <laughs> they are fun. They are um, Irish, traditional, but very upbeat. I, mm -hmm. I was listening to them on the way over here and it kind of takes you to an Irish pub. Perfect for the whole family or a date night. Just get yourself out there and hear these world-class musicians. And that's also at the Temple Theater, correct? Yep, our first two are at the Temple Theater, mm -hmm. part of that um, Prairie Meadows Live at the mm -hmm. Temple concert series. Um, our second group then, our act, I should say, is um, Matthew Sweet. Yes, so he'll be here, mm. when is it? It's October 1st and 2nd. So Socks in the Frying Pan, September 22nd. Matthew Sweet, an evening with him, October 1st and 2nd. Also at the Temple Theater. Also at the Temple Theater, so an incredible venue to just feel a part of the performance. And Matthew is an icon of the 90s. He has had over 20 um, amazing records. People might know his big hits, Girlfriend or 100% mm -hmm. Fun. I, as um, I've gotten to know his work, have been incredibly impressed with how many films and TV shows he has provided songs for. Um, a really great artist, about to go on tour with Hanson. So wow. we are getting special two nights with him um, prior to that tour, which is just really incredible. Very nice. Now this next group I have not heard of before, Santino Fontana with the Des Moines Symphony? Yes, so, so Santino Fontana is um, a Tony Award winning performer. He um, won a um, Tony for Tootsie. People might better know him as voicing um, Prince Han in Disney's Frozen. Oh, okay. Yes, yes and um, I do know who he is. So, um, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, lots of other shows he's been on, but won a, t won a Tony Award for Tootsie. And this is one of my favorite nights of the year because we bring these Broadway stars to the Civic Center and they get to perform with the Des Moines Symphony, which mm -hmm. really is a remarkable... We are so fortunate to have that orchestra mm -hmm. here in town and all of the artists always talk about it. So such a great evening, October 5th, Des Moines Civic Center. Um, Santino Fontana with the Des Moines um, Symphony. Yeah, Come and see a Tony here. Award winner. I know, October 5th. Now, this next person I'm actually a fan of, Taylor Thompson, hilarious comedian. She actually has multiple Netflix specials too that yes. I've watched. She's gonna be here. She's gonna be here for two, two nights. Um, she has a late night show. She has those three um, Netflix specials. So if you want to have a good night out, get some laughs in, maybe make it a date night, girls night out, whatever it is, um, Taylor's going to be here. She is a rising icon of the comedy scene, and we are delighted to have her at the Civic Center. Yes, so Taylor Tomlinson, I got her last name confused. That's October 11th and 12th. Now, this is a <laughs> show that everyone is going to be interested in. Back to the Future. Back to the Future, the musical. Yes. So this show started in London, um, did incredible, won the Olivier, which is for Best Musical, which is mm -hmm. their Tony Award, transferred to um, Broadway, and now we are one of the first stops on its national tour. Wow. I saw this last May. It is so much fun. They do an incredible job bringing it to stage. Um, the DeLorean does not disappoint. Mm -hmm. we, it's just a blast. Everybody will have a fun time at this show, and we are lucky to have it in Des Moines for a week. That is October 15th through the 20th. I mean, an iconic movie now turned into musical. Yes. T tickets for that are going to sell out like crazy. And also another favorite, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. That's right. So we are having a screening on the Des Moines Civic Center stage, giant um, viewing of the film. We're going to have the original Brad kind of as the MC, so Brad from the show. Um, and then a shadow cast, um, lots of interaction, lots of memorabilia, memorabilia, excuse me, throughout the Civic Center to get to feel part of the history. Um, this is just a classic. I mean, you can't have Halloween without Rocky Horror. Oh, absolutely. So. And that's going to be October 22nd at the Civic Center. Okay, cool. So we have this full screen here as well. This also reminds people for the season tickets, when, when those, you know, are going through sale yep. till and how to get more information there. That's right. So get your season tickets. We will have single tickets for these as well. But season tickets just make sure that you have a way to have those date nights, have mm -hmm. those nights out on your calendars and really, you know, explore some art forms you maybe Aren't, aren't familiar with as well. Great value there. 
dmpa.org. Always buy from the source, whether that's with us or with any other venue. You want to make sure you get the actual tickets. So um, for us, that's visiting dmpa.org or come on down to our ticket office that's newly remodeled. Yes, a very exciting fall lineup for the Des Moines Performing Arts. Jonathan, thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. Make sure to check it out. We'll have more news and weather after the break.